Hello there! Welcome to Let's Animate Tutorial. And today I'll be sharing to you how I animate fire or flame cycle in Krita. On a new layer, I drew the torch, which will be the static drawing. The animated layer will be on the top. On this layer, I draw the shape of the fire, which will be my guide for the final line drawing. The idea is to imagine that these are balls. The top is smaller and the bottom is bigger. Create a new keyframe and turn the onion skin to see the previous frame and the next keyframes. Draw the next shape of the fire on the keyframe. Like I said, imagine that these are balls. As they are animated going up, the balls are getting smaller. Create another blank keyframe. And if you're confused, draw the balls like so. Then draw the shape of the fire. As you can see, I made the top shape separating from the bottom. This is one idea to create the behavior of fire. What I'm doing is called straight ahead animation since the fire is very random with shapes. The animation is 12 frames per second, which is in one second there will be 12 drawings. For now, I will draw by twos. I just continue drawing the sequence up until keyframe 9. I copy the first keyframe by select and dragging to frame 14. Never be confused about your onion skin. My setup is the pink is the previous frame and the blue is the next frame. I continue this process until I'm satisfied with the cycle. To test my animation, I render it as image sequence. Then use another program to compile it as a video. For the final drawings, I turned down the opacity of the rough drawing layer. Then I created a new layer for the line drawings. To copy keyframes, select the keyframes, hold on the control key, then drag it to a specific frame in the timeline. With blank frames ready, all I gotta do now is just draw. Once the line drawings of the animation is finished, I created a new layer and named it as Flat Colors. To create a clipping mask, go to Group, then choose Quick Clipping Group. This will automatically create a clipping mask layer. Notice the Alpha Mask button has a strike through. If you have closed lines, you can use the bucket tool to fill it with colors. Just make sure to uncheck Limit Current Layer checkbox. Since my line drawings have gaps, I tend to use the Ink Pen tool. To color quickly, I color around the drawing first, then fill it with colors with the bucket tool. I repeat this coloring for the entire animation. Rename the clipping mask layer to opaque color. This will be the soft orange color we see on fire. I use airbrush tools for this. I manually do this and repeat the process up to the last frame. When done filling up the colors, I use the eraser with low opacity 
on the bottom part of the plane. To access the eraser, press E or click the eraser button on the above toolbar. To change the color of the line art, create a clipping mask or press shift Control g Rename the clipping mask layer. Create new keyframe if you like, then fill the entire canvas with light yellow. On top of the line art layer, I created new layer for the glow effect. I changed the layer option from normal to screen. On a new keyframe, I used the airbrush tool to paint the orange glow effect. And on the same layer with the same tool, I painted the center glow. I do this on every frame. Now it's time to see the final render of the animation.